Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about why in yoga and exercise it's actually better to learn how to eventually breathe less than normal, not more than normal. For example, when we're doing slow, deep breathing in, many people imagine that if you simply breathe in and then breathe out, with a full deep breath in, maybe lasting three seconds, filling the lungs in three seconds, a full deep breath out, emptying the lung in three seconds, that this is often called slow deep breathing. But actually, if you think about it, the average lung is about five litres. When you take a full breath in like that, that's filling five litres in three seconds, emptying five litres in three seconds, which means you're doing about 50 litres of air per minute. So it's, you know, five litres every six seconds, about 50 litres a minute. Now, when you look at any physiology textbook, it says the normal amount of air that people breathe per minute is less than five litres per minute which means if your lung capacity is about 5 litres, to learn to eventually breathe less than normal, you need to learn to breathe less than 5 litres in one minute. Now that's quite hard in the beginning. Now I'm purely talking about when you're sitting still doing not too much. But of course many yoga postures, like sanding postures, floor postures, you're not actually physically doing anything more stressful than just sitting anyway. So in those postures then, the appropriate amount of air to take per minute is about 5 litres per minute. Now you could breathe 10 very small breaths in one minute, or you could breathe a full breath in and a full breath out. So what I'd like to demonstrate now is a full breath in and full breath out, but it will take me about a minute to a minute and a half. So the sound of Ujjayi Pranayama is a hissing sound, sometimes like you might hear Darth Vader in Star Wars, which if I made it loud, <sighs> might sound like that. But it make, to make it loud enough so anyone near me could hear, it actually takes quite a lot of tension in your throat and you have to push the air out quite quickly. So to make a significant sound that's audible, you need to exhale at the rate of about 5 litres in about 3 seconds which means then that you're actually breathing more than normal. But if you want to, you can breathe very slowly, say about 30 seconds to 45 seconds inhale and 30 to 45 seconds out breath, which will automatically mean that you have breathed less than normal because you'll be breathing less than 5 litres in one minute. But to hear the sound of Ajayi Pranayama, you need to use a microphone. So to make this sound, I'm making a very gentle constriction of the base of the back of the throat, not causing tension, but by thinning the back of the throat, it brings the air in with a little bit of a finer spray. So the analogy that's good to use sometimes is if you wash a, a car with a hose and the water comes out of the hose in its normal thick jet, it might not wash the car very easily. But if you put the thumb over the end of the hose, then the water comes out with a bit of a finer spray and you can wash things with a bit of a higher pressure. So by constricting the base of the throat and making this Ujjayi Pranayama sound, you can actually get a much finer delivery of the oxygen into your body. So that's what I'm doing now and I'm going to use my microphone, but I'll take the microphone off and put it to the tip of my nose. Then it can magnify the sound of Ujjayi Pranayama. Now what I'll also do is Every once in a while you might see me pull the microphone away from my nose, but I'll continue breathing. And what you'll notice is, unless the microphone is right next to the nose, you will not hear the sound of Ujjayi Pranayam. Now if you observe then advanced yoga practitioners compared to beginner yoga practitioners throughout the world of modern yoga today, you'll notice that the more experienced the practitioner gets and the more years of practice they get, the better understanding they have of their spine, the trunk and the bandhas you'll find they breathe a lot quieter, even though they will say they're still doing Ujjayi Pranayam. So that's what I'd like to demonstrate now.